Made a saving tackle on a kickoff for a second straight week. 45-yard punt, he booted toward the left sideline after fielding a low snap. This guy does everything for yeah. Juliet Catholic. I mean, beyond old school. <laughs> he it, never comes off the field. Exactly, honestly. just a great weapon for Juliet Catholic. But what you're noticing is another dynamically, Juliet Catholic is kicking into the uh, with the wind at their back. So that means a high-powered passing attack of Montini will have the ball in the fourth quarter with the wind. Anthony Taylor kept that one from, that would have gone into the end zone, but he denied it and brings it out to the 28-yard line. So that's a plus eight, really, for them. If he had let that go, it was going past the goal line. He caught it head high and brings it out and gives his team eight yards they wouldn't have had. Him. Exactly, and you know why he's able to do that is because the ball was kicked so low that he still had a lot of time to get up, and that's a nice job on the return. Every yard counts, and we've seen that in this ball game. All right, as the old Hawkeroo says, strap it down. We got, we've got uh, more offensive action coming your way. Westerkamp on the near sideline. Borsellino in motion. The give is to Dimitri Taylor. He hits the corner, and here he goes around end and up to the 44-yard line where he picks up a first down. This is a nice job. You see Joe Borsellino going in motion, and he contributes with the seal block on the edge, and then Dimitri's able to utilize his speed on the outside to get to that corner. Good job by Grant Harrison to make the tackle on the sideline, but not before the first down was had. Dimitri Taylor, 112 yards, two touchdowns, and the semifinal win over Caneland. First and 10 from the 43. They'll try him around the other end. See if they can get a seal block down there at the end. He gets across the 45, inside the 45, fumbled it, but he was lucky that it rolled out of bounds, and it'll be first down Montini. They're trying to work the edge, utilize their athleticism, and the seal blocks on the outside. You can see a nice job by Josh Falk fighting through that block to get to the sideline, and he's the one that actually gets the first hit on Dimitri, and that's, that ball could have been a fumble yeah. and could have stayed in bounds, which would have been an interesting turn of events with him falling out of bounds but fumbling inside uh, in inbounds. More of a break for Montini there than we initially thought. Here's Anthony Taylor around left end, and he takes it down to about the 21-yard line. They'll mark it at the 20. Pickup of 23, Montini on the move here in the opening moments of the third quarter. Well, just a nice job right here, just a bubble screen to Taylor, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Adam Collins has a lot of space to cover, makes a tackle eventually down the sideline, but that's how you take advantage of a defense. You recognize the coverage that they're in, one-on-one, -on -one, get the ball in space to your playmakers. Taylor comes through with another big play. Julie Borsellino starts behind center and now comes out to the near side and it's Rody in the shotgun. 11-10 to go third quarter. Here's Anthony Taylor. Takes it inside the 10, breaks a couple of tackles, takes it across the goal line, and he's in for the score from 20 yards out. Nice job of breaking tackles, yards after catch, yards after contact. Excellent job, Anthony Taylor. Dimitri Taylor and this drive, both coming to play in this second half. And you can see this good blocking downfield by Borsellino. And then one, two, three tackles made. Starts celebrating just a little bit early. <laughs> and he, he pays the price for it at the end. But that's a nice job and a great opening drive for the Broncos. Andrew Hart on for the extra point. It's good. 